These are definitely the last days as we well know. We have got to pray, you guys, those of us who really, really, really want to hear from God. We've got to pray now that God will begin to raise up prophets to the nations. Because I believe God wants to speak. He, he's gotten our attention and he wants to speak. But we have to have an ear to hear and a heart to take heed and understand. So we must ask God to make us ready to receive the words he's about to send. The instruction, the correction, the admonishments, whatever form they take, we have got to be ready to receive and believe, not snicker, not laugh, not look out the side of our eye with a smirk on our face. We have got to ask God to give us faith to believe that God will use whoever he chooses. He's going to raise up some people in these last days. We're going to be surprised at how marvelously God uses these people. But we've got to pray for them for their protection as God brings them to the forefront. God bless you. All of us need to pray hard, and I'm guilty of not doing so as well, but we need to pray harder and harder that God will begin to line up his sights and zero in on the bullseyes and start shooting the enemy and protecting his precious ones and enabling us with a new anointing and a new level of holiness, a much higher level of holiness, to begin to live in a way where the world takes us more seriously and begin to bring in more of the powers, the usher in the 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 work the miracle working power of the holy spirit where healings take place at shopping malls and people receive their eyesight at the gas stations and restaurants are there people sitting in restaurants witness miracles right before their eyes and people get saved saints we got to ask for a revival this is the time, this is the time to raise up, for God to raise up the leaders, for the power of the Holy Spirit to go forth. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on all flesh in the name of Jesus and use us to your glory. Thank you, Lord, and protect those that are still in obscurity that you're about to bring forward now to get the world's attention through the media in the name of Jesus. Amen.